Let's go to another one, right? Again, this is another example of translation. So here, they took human beings, they stuck them into an fMRI machine, and they showed them images. And they taught the AI, I want you to translate from the readings of the fMRI, so how blood is moving around in your brain, to the image. Can we reconstruct the image then? You know, the AI then only looks at the brain, uh, does not get to see the original image, and it's asked to reconstruct what it sees, right? So when you dream, your visual cortex sort of runs in reverse. So this means certainly in the next couple of years, we'll be able to start decoding dreams. Um, OK, so it can like see, reconstruct what you're seeing. But can it reconstruct your, say, what you're thinking, your inner monologue? Um, so here they did roughly, this, it's a different lab, but roughly the same idea. They had people watch these videos and they would try to reconstruct their inner monologue. Um, so here's the video. Is this woman getting hit in the back, getting knocked forward? OK, and then what did the AI reconstruct? I see a girl that looks just like me get hit on the back, and then she's knocked off. So just to really name something really quickly, um, the point about differentiating between Siri or I do voice transcription, and then it kind of fails, and AI seems to like it's not really always growing or working, and like we shouldn't be really that scared about AI because it always has these problems, right? And we've always been promised, oh, AI is going to take off and do all these things. What the point of this is, I hope you're seeing that when you're just translating between different languages, and everyone's now working on one system, that the scaling factor and the growth is changing in a very different way. So we swapped the engine out of what's underneath the paradigm of AI, but we don't talk about it in a different way because we still have this word we call AI, when the engine underneath what is representing that has changed. Also really important to note here, you know, go back to that first law of technology. You invent a technology, you uncover a new responsibility. We don't have any laws or ways of talking about the right to what you're thinking about. We haven't needed to protect that before.